All right, guys, welcome to an excellent video and exciting stuff is coming up in this video. Remember how I did a quick preview and how to install of this wonderful ROM? Looks like after a long time, I have found a MIUI based ROM for the Mi 11X, which will serve your daily purpose needs, gaming needs, everything, customization, good look, monet. Well, this is a complete review of MIUI 13.0.8. CSX verse which I've been using since the last two days and I have good things to say about this particular ROM So before we get into the details if you haven't already Please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this now without further ado Hello some people welcome to phone ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going Now real quick, once again, let's have a look. CSX Wars MIUI 13.0.8 updated on the 2nd of October 2022. And if we talk about the change log, there are some basic changes over here that they have mentioned. And there are some gaming related changes as well. Enabled in-game crosshair, enabled game macro, fix lags while using performance mode, fix game turbo force closes, fix navigation bar issues, battery optimization, optimized charging. So the, you know, customization menu or the change log, whatever you talk about this particular ROM, at least for the B11X and the Poco F3, it just keeps going on. And when you actually use the ROM, it shows. Now, good thing to note over here is safety net is passing without root. So there's not much that you need to worry about. Now, the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you are greeted by eye candy. The reason I say this is because, first of all, you have apps which are designed in a very, very beautiful manner. Like their icon pack is love it or leave it because they're using a Samsung One UI sort of an icon pack. So even if you were to go to themes and uh, say, let's go to my account and let's go to themes. Now, this is a classic. This is the default MIUI theme as well. If you don't like the theme, that this particular ROM is supplied with, you can go to the typical MIUI look. And if you like this, which has different wallpapers and a bunch of different themes, you can definitely go ahead and apply this as well. Now, the good thing that I noticed here is that this is based on MIUI and it has almost Monet working perfectly fine. Now, I don't really know if this is real Monet, but for the most part, it works. Now, as you can see, we do have red accents over here. So I'm quickly going to, you know, go ahead and change the wallpaper. So let's say set to a different wallpaper over here. Conscious sex, new wallpaper. So very beautiful wallpapers here. Okay, setting the wallpaper. Bam. Okay, we have moved from red to green and Monet is changing. As you can see in the entire UI, Monet is changing, which is a good thing. So there is consistency as far as Monet is concerned. Very, very neat and welcome addition. To the left, you have the latest app vault. And if you click on plus, you have the new MIUI widgets, which in my opinion, look great and work great as well. I really hope they are, uh, you know, added to the global versions of MIUI soon. Now, if you try to add them to the home screen of this particular ROM, let's see what happens here. So it doesn't actually allow you to add it to the home screen for some reason. Anyways, if you then go to widgets once again, over here, you have the old MIUI 12.5 widget look. So that is something they still need to work on as far as the global ROM is concerned. Now at the top, of course, you have quick ties, which are once again themed in a different way, courtesy this theme. There are a ton of options available, including NFC, you know, screen recorder, everything standard that you get with MIUI. Now, the next major important thing over here is the launcher settings. Now, in the launcher settings menu as well, you will see that it does have a lot of customization options. I will quickly go through them one by one, right? Now, as you can see, this, this is a system launcher that is supplied with this particular ROM and you can have Google feed in the minus one screen. At the same time, you can have search bar provider to be changed. So for now, it is Google and that's what we're going to keep. Now, as you can see, it did crash on me once. This has not happened a lot of times, but sometimes when you try to select this, it does crash. Now, apart from this, if we further look at launcher settings, you can select the animation speed. You have double tap to lock screen. You can customize the icons the way you want to. Animation speed can be changed. Size in portrait mode, size in landscape mode, recent corner radius. So the amount of customization that you will find as far as this, you know, ROMs launcher is concerned, it is huge. You can have, you know, the horizontal recents and you can select iOS style recents as well. So as you can see, it looks and works great. 
and it is pretty rock solid and smooth. Over the entire user interface, everywhere things have been very, very smooth and subtle. So I've not had any issues. Now, as you can see, I do have two SIM cards inserted in the, this device. So mobile data is working fine. Wi-Fi connectivity is working fine. So your daily needs are taken care of. Safety net is definitely working absolutely okay. So no problems there whatsoever. As you can see, you do have Widevine L1 certification for Amazon Prime and Netflix HD as well. At the same time, your banking applications will be working absolutely fine. Now moving on, things like the camera application. Although the Leica camera app doesn't really add a lot of new features, but the new look is definitely there. And there are a lot of things that you will have to probably download when you you know click on them for the first time and as this is a mii based rom well i've not had any issues at all the you know camera quality is pretty good and it works absolutely fine now another neat addition here is it does come with miui dialer which means you will not have the call recording prompt from google dialer that is a good thing as well so on a global rom you are now getting a miui dialer and miui messaging which in my opinion is a pretty good thing now let's actually go to settings here and let's go to about phone where all the information is this is miui csx 13.0.8 and as far as the security patch is concerned just Reminiscent to this update, you get Android 12 along with August security patch. RAM over here is displayed as 6 plus 2, 8 gigabytes. But when you go to the multitasking menu, you will see that it doesn't display the expanded RAM or extended RAM in there, which I think in MIA 13.1 or MIA 14 will start displaying. Now the app drawer doesn't have a lot of bloatware. These are apps that I have installed while using the ROM, while testing the ROM. And if you once again, you know, go to settings, you will find that there are a few changes here and there. You do have system apps updater, but it doesn't really work. Of course, this is a custom ROM. So what do you expect? Now moving on, you have similar options in always on display and lock screen. No changes made here. You have launcher customization, which we just checked. Password and security, face unlock and fingerprint unlock is working absolutely okay. So no problems there whatsoever. Now if you go to special features, you do have the sidebar which you can enable always and you can decide what apps you want over here. You have something called as the front camera assistant, which I think is a feature of MIUI China. So there are some things which are pulled from here and there from betas and there are some things, most of the things which are stable. So all in all, if you ask me about this ROM, the experience is rock solid. The animations are consistent. There are no overheating issues at all. I did play Apex Mobile for like half an hour to 45 minutes. That was one or two matches and it was pretty rock solid. The animations, the graphics, everything was working great. No problem as far as gaming is concerned. And I have seen if you're using PUBG Mobile, you will get 90 FPS support in this ROM as well. So that is a neat addition as well. Now let's quickly talk about battery life. Now battery life on this ROM of course is good because this is a MIUI based ROM. And for the most part, you know, for me, it has been working great. I had this device with me along with the Pixel 6 all day long yesterday while I was traveling, doing a bunch of stuff. And as you can see, I have been using this device with this particular ROM 48 hours as you can see, and the screen on time is almost two hours. So overall, you will get a pretty decent experience as far as charging and battery backup is concerned. Now let's quickly talk about the benchmark numbers because that will give you a hint as to what exactly you can expect as far as this ROM is concerned. Now you do get a segment leading 704,074 as far as the Android score is concerned. The temperature did increase by 7.2 degrees Celsius and the battery drop was around 5%. Now, moving on, if we talk about the CPU throttle test, because that is what everybody has been talking about these days. Now, as you can see, it is pretty green, 92% throttling and the average score of 220, 233 GIPS. So rock solid performance there. Now, last but not the least, we will also talk about Geekbench, which in my opinion matters a lot because that gives you single core performance numbers. So as you can see, 981 single core and 3273 multi core. So all in all, this is a complete ROM. I have also shared a separate video in which I've given you a first look of this particular ROM and what exactly you can expect from it. Now, in my opinion, till date, this is one of the best custom ROMs available for the Mi 11X. If you're looking for a ROM which supports MIUI, now, there are, of course, new ROMs available, which have been recently released. That is the MIUI SR Neon Edition. Very soon, I'll be making a video on this as well. Let me know in the comment section if you want to see a dedicated gaming review on Apex Legends for this particular ROM. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.